Now here's another way of separating. Is what we're going to do is we're going to make everything spot colors. So I'm going to look at my blue here and actually have that. I built that as a spot color, so we're okay there. We're going to select our black. That is not a spot color. So now I'm going to set that one as a spot color and same to the background here. Perfect. Now that everything's set at spot colors, I'm going to go ahead and resize this to the customer's needs. Make sure it's in the center of my box. We're just a little too big. So we're going to go to our document setup. We're going to increase the height. Perfect. Now my logo fits here in the center. Then you go to file print once everything's in spot colors. Go to your wall satch rip. Pick a paper size that fits. Oh, back up. Now that I made everything spot colors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print. So we go under file. We go to print. Now remember we need to set to our wall sets rip. Then we're going to find a paper size that fits. That should do the job. Just double checking here that everything's inside is visible. Perfect. Now we're going to hit out output and what we're going to do is over here where it's trying to do a composite we're going to set that the separations host space. And then basically it sees a CMYK preview. We're going to turn all these off and then all of our spot colors are right here. We're going to leave those on and just print those. Now this top one right here is the one where we're doing in a half tone. So I'm going to make sure to set that one. We're going to go ahead and do a 45 line at a 61 degree at an ellipse dot. Now I don't have to set the other ones that I'm doing at 100% because they're 100% coverage. Now we're going to go ahead and hit print and send it on over to our rip.